touch that fire for you. I what is up, y'all, and welcome back to Queen and Cheryl on the channel. Y'all know we talk about fashion, beauty, and life. And y'all, today, I am bringing y'all a video that a lot of y'all have requested over some time. But that time has come now. This video will be about um, shapewear and bras and things like that. So if you are interested in that type of content, make sure that you keep on watching Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, never forget to tell a friend to tell a friend about Queen Michelle because y'all know how we do on the channel. And welcome to everybody that is new on the channel. I appreciate the support, and we're just going to keep on going. So, y'all, I do have a bag of bras that I recently purchased uh, from Lane Bryant. And then I have the shapewear that I wear in this video, uh, I mean, in all of my videos, when I wear, like, dresses and stuff like that. So, um, so for starters, I do have on one of the bras right now. Uh, this is a no underwire bra. It is just, like, a comfortable t-shirt bra. T-shirt bras are my go-to bras. I prefer a t-shirt bra full coverage on the top and in the back of course because i am top heavy so i like full coverage like really 99 percent of the time so i like how this one is fitting also i do not always want to wear underwire so i'm so so glad that i found a good bra that it does not have underwire and it's very comfortable and it still holds me up it don't look saggy and droopy. Y'all know how some underwire bras be. Um, you top heavy, they don't have enough support and they just look really, really droopy. I have some of those and I wear those, honey, around the house or whenever I'm just running to the store and I'm, you know, just throwing something on literally. So I do have some bras like that. Um, then I have some bras that are very, very um what what can I say? They hold up so like up in your face they kind of annoy me and give me a second because i actually need to go get a couple of bras that i already owned to show y'all the difference in the bras so give me a second okay so we are back i went and got these out of my drawer because i actually forgot to bring these and i'm just giving y'all um like an overview of um bras that i recently have been introduced to and bras that i already own and things like that so, we're going to get started with these that I already owned. Um, this bra here is just, um, it's, it's got a little um, decoration or, I guess, design on it or what have you. And I'm just popping the cups out. It has a little bit of design with the lace. Nothing too extreme. Um, it is a pretty okay bra. But, y'all, this is one of the ones that, like, sit up so high. And they kind of put my girls in my face too much for me. Uh, this is a bra that I would wear if I had to really put on something like and really look um really cleaned up. You know, like maybe like a dressy dress or something like that. If I was going somewhere like really formal, you know, something like that. I would wear this type of bra. This is not something I would want to wear on a daily basis. It is underwire and I'm okay with that. Again, this rise one that really, really holds up. Let me see the brand because I don't even know where this came from. Okay, this came from Catherine's. And I got this um, a long time ago, but it's in really good condition because I rarely wear this bra. And I mean like over five years ago, I got this bra, y'all. Um, This is, yeah, from Catherine's. Okay. So, this is a really good bra. Again, nothing I would wear on a daily basis, but it does have, like, the smooth cup because that's really what I like. This right here is a little bit plungy somewhat. As you can tell, if I had it on, a little bit more of my girls would be out. But that is a really good bra that really, really holds up. Um, As well as this one here. This one is one in black. Let me just pop the cups out. This one came from Torrid. I actually know that off the top of my head. This one came from Torrid. Yeah. Um, 
And I like this bra, but again, it is much like the bra from Catherine's that I just showed y'all. It's really, really going to hold up. Um, really, really like up in your face like this. I do not like that on a daily basis. But again, if I had to put on something and really, really be like cleaned up, you know what I mean? A nice dress or go to like a wedding, you know, something like that. I will wear something like this. Now, this has like the sheer here and I do like that. And, um, let me see, lace here. Just a little bit of razzle dazzle. Again, a really smooth cut because that's what I like. And then this one is not so plungy in the middle. But this one is another bra that really, really holds up like up, up, up in your face. This bra right here is just a little bra that I actually found on clearance at Walmart. And it was actually $3. I have two of these because they only had two in my size. So I got both of them because they were $3. This bra right here is a cool bra, and I would wear this, like, on a daily basis. It's a simple t-shirt bra that's underwire. Um, very, I like, very stretchy here. I like this material. It's, like, satiny. Um, adjustable straps. It does have, like, the padding here, and it is, like, a thick strap. So, this is something that I would wear, like, if I had to go to the office or, you know, something like that. But this is, like, an everyday bra, not doing too much. Yes, it's underwire. But it's comfortable for like all day. Um, and y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I have to have on a bra that like covers this little meat here. I do not like that hanging out. That does not look good. I know a lot of women wear the wrong size bras. Uh, some women, they look like they got four breasts. That's not cute to me. Um, I don't know if they know it, but the bra is too little when that's going on. But you got women that think that it's sexy. To each his own. Men may like it, but men don't know bras like a woman should know a bra. Um, but anyway, this is like I said, a simple little everyday bra. Even though it's underwire, I could deal with it all day. Not too tight, not too up in your face. You know, very chill. So we're gonna move on to these bras that I just got. And y'all, I got five new bras from Lane Bryant. I was once fitted in Lane Bryant. And I could not find a bra that would fit that didn't have like either some spillage up here or um like this um meat coming out. It was just a disaster. And I know Lane Bryant caters to the plus size woman, but y'all, I could not find a bra for whatever reason. I don't know when they came out with this bra that I got. Y'all, this bra right here is literally five of the same kind of bras. But different colors and a little bit uh, different as far as the cup. Just a little. So, I'm just going to pull these out. And, y'all, this bra is called the Comfort Bliss. Y'all, this bra is amazing. Again, I have on one right now. This one is no underwire. T-shirt bra, smooth, um, full coverage. Y'all can see it comes up quite a bit. Uh, so, full coverage, you know, nothing hanging out. The straps are comfortable, adjustable straps, of course, and adjustable, you know, in the back. This is that same bra, but in a, um, I don't know what color this is, to be honest. Let me see if they have it on here. Let me just take it out the package. Let's see if they have the color on the actual tag. Okay, I don't think they have the color. They don't have the color, but y'all, this is the Comfort Bliss um, bra. Absolutely love it. Now, y'all, this is an underwire. I got two underwire Comfort Bliss, and then three that do not have wire, but still they are Comfort Bliss, uh, the style. And y'all, this is a really, really good bra. I love, like I said, the coverage in the back. I do not like the little uh, meat hanging out of the back. I don't like that at all. Um, this is really, really nice. I I think I wore, I haven't wore the underwires because I have two of these. I have it in black and then this color. I don't even know what this color is. I, I'm not taupe, but I don't really know. But it's in the brown nudish family. Y'all can see the color. 
But this bra is the bomb. Um, it does have that little vent there. I don't know. The lady at the store was telling me uh something about, I guess, for like in the summertime, it's supposed to give your breast some breathing or what have you. Honey, mine's so big, they ain't breathing at all. They just together hanging out in the bra. But that's what she said. I tried this on in the dressing room, and she also fitted me again, or now measured me again. And she told me that the issue was I am a 54 in the back in a C cup. She said the bigger the band, the smaller the cup. Now, I do know that, but in other, like in Catherine's, I have like a 44 triple D. So, in my mind, I'm always looking for this size no matter where I'm shopping for a bra. But apparently, all bras are not made equally. So, I had to get a 54 um, C cup. Now, I got a 54 C cup in the underwires. And this one here, I have a 52 C cup. Excuse me, because when I tried on the 54 without the wire, that bra did not have, like, any support. And it just kind of, it felt good on, but it didn't hold up like this. Like, with this, I feel comfortable with this. I don't feel saggy. I don't feel none of that. Like, I feel like I have on, like, an underwire bra, like what I'm used to wearing most of the time. But I feel so good that this does not have a wire and it holds me up. And keeps me looking smooth and, you know, put together. So, I'm in love with this bra, y'all. And we're going to move on to the next color. Okay, so this is one, like, uh, exactly like what I have on. I have on the black one. This is a chocolate brown. I don't have a chocolate brown bra until I got this. So, I definitely wanted a chocolate and I prefer um, dark bras. I just do. Um, but I don't have any chocolate. And y'all can see how this one is made. Again, no wire in this one. Very stretchy under like your breast. So that is very, very comfortable. Again, it has the little vent piece here. And then it's just made like this. Again, full coverage is my top preference. And this one, again, like I said, is a 52C because it does not have the wire. So, we can do, you know, a little bit uh, tighter in the back. And it is perfect. Again, full coverage in the back. I love this chocolate color. Really, really nice. Then we have this same bra. And I'm going to leave this one in the package because it's... um nude or tan or whatever and we don't want to get nothing on it but i have that exact same bra like the chocolate one and like the black one that i have on no wire 52 c and y'all i just when i when i tried on the bra i had to get multiple and then i had a good sale that's another reason because each one of these bras is like 50 dollars a piece and i got five of them y'all and they had a sale where if you spend $225, that you get 100 off. So, I got 100 off plus free shipping. So, all together, I ended up paying like one, I think it said 140 or something like that. It was the total. So, I thought that was amazing for five bras because two of them would have been $100. So, I thought that was a really, really good deal. So, I went ahead and jumped on it. Plus, when I tried the bra on in store, I knew that that was like the bra, and I had to have it. So, this one is the black underwire. This one is just like the dark chocolate one. I mean, like the taupe, whatever color, the weird brown looking one. So, this one is underwire, and it's still, this is stretchy even on the underwire, so that's a really good uh, thing. Again, smooth cup. This is a t-shirt bra. Absolutely love the coverage. Really, really nice. And again, y'all, this is the Comfort Bliss bra at Lane Bryant. Very, very comfortable. I absolutely love that bra. We're going to move on to some, uh, like, shapewear and undergarments. Now, y'all, this is uh, not necessarily shapewear, but this is one of my undershirts. I have two of these. And they kind of like compression a little bit. 
Um, they're not really, really tight, but they do have some, like, some structure. Now, I wear one of these every single day under, like, when I wear, like, pants, uh, leggings, or something like that. I always have one undershirt. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but I have to have on an undershirt. I have to have on an undershirt. I like undershirts. I just do. I don't know why. But, again, it does keep you kind of in place and looking smooth. Maybe that's what it is. Um, but even when I wasn't as plus size as I am now, I always wore undershirts. I don't I don't know why. Maybe it's just something that I always liked. But um this is one of them. And I think I got this in like either City Trends or somewhere like that. It is racer back. I do have some of these that are like kind of tight compression that are like spaghetti strap and they are not racer back. But I love these and like I said, no matter if I have on leggings. Or jeans, I don't wear those under dresses. Like if I have, like right now, I just have shaper that comes to here, and then my bra, and then the dress. So I don't have an undershirt like that. But leggings, jeans, um, shorts, whatever skirts, I have on some type of, you know, undergarment or undershirt. Now, y'all, these are like stupid, stupid old shapewear. I've been having these. I know. Ooh, well over five years and y'all i cannot find these anymore these i wear um because you can tell it has the thigh in it i wear these under like a dress like this i will wear this but i purposely didn't put it on so that i could show it to y'all i only have one of these um that has like the thighs in it but this is the type of dress i will wear this with one because this comes like a little bit above the knee so of course if you had on a shorter dress you wouldn't want the shaper to show. But with this dress that I have on today, if I was not doing this video, I would have this one on with this long dress that's coming down to the top of my feet, as y'all can tell. Um, Very stretchy. Now, y'all, very stretchy, but it is like a control stretch. Y'all, I got these way bigger than they said on the size guide because, one, when I wear shapewear, I don't necessarily want to be squeezed in to make it look like I'm not as big. Honey, we all know I'm plus size and it is what it is. But I do like to look smooth. So that's what my shapewear is for, for me. I want to look smooth and not like lumpy or whatever. So that is why I wear shapewear. Um, This right here, if I could even still see the size. Okay, this is a 7X. And y'all, I'm going to show y'all how it looks. And it's from Catherine's, but it is kind of like going out so I can barely see. Um, But this is old. I love how this is made around like that goes up your back and on your stomach. Again, this is like satin and very stretchy, but a control stretch. And the main thing about these, y'all, they have the rubber grips on the thigh. So these do not roll up. They don't move. This does not roll down. Y'all, when I tell y'all, this is like the perfect shapewear. It is the perfect shapewear. Um, it's very thin. And then I'll show y'all that it is. Y'all can see how old it is right here. Kind of like right there. But it is like lined. So it is like thinner on the back. And then it is lined on the stomach part. And y'all, like I said, these are like so old. And I don't even think they have these on uh, Catherine's anymore. I was looking on there recently when I ordered those bras. And I was like, let me check for shapewear on Catherine's because they used to have in-store. But now I think they're only online because I don't know if they're going out of business or what they have going on. But Catherine's is, or I would say is because they are still a company. They are a little bit expensive. So... I can kind of see why they closed, you know, the brick and mortars because you can, and then they had like old lady type clothes. It was only plus size. So, if you know, Catherine's, you know, but for those of you who don't know, Catherine's was like really geared toward the older crowd. So you could go and get like a floral dress. The dress may be 70 or $80. Me personally, I'm not um, of age like that. So I wouldn't wear any of their clothes, like, you know, maybe a pair of leggings or something like that, but not like a dress or, you know, they just had kind of like the, for the older crowd. If you don't know, Google it and you could look at what they sell. 
But I don't know what they have done, but I have not seen this shapewear. And the crazy part about it is, y'all, I don't even know the name. It just says Catherine's Intimate. So it doesn't even have like a name that I can type in to try to see whatever. But y'all, this is gold. Absolutely love this. And I will be wearing these shapewears that I have until they are no longer. <laughs> so we're going to move along to our next piece. And this is the panty one, as y'all can already tell. And again, I got this way bigger than they said on the size guide for reasons that I've already explained. Um, and y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I wear underwear under this. My sister-in-law said that I'm not supposed to, but I wear underwear under this shapewear. Y'all let me know if y'all wear underwear under y'all shapewear, but I do. Um, but anyway, this is the panty one. This one is an 8X, and yeah, this one is an 8X. Again, I think the size guy said I needed like a 4 or a 5X, something like that. But again, y'all, I have to breathe. I'm not trying to walk around and look like I got on a waist trainer or nothing like that. So, honey, I got it big and stretchy. Uh, this comes all the way up, and I have two of these. I have one of these on, and the one I have on is a 9X. This one is an 8X, and these were, I believe, oh, it could have been the last two that they had in store when I got these. I can't even really remember, but I have on one of these right now, and then this is the other one. Um, I think this is the one, the lining, yeah, the lining came out of this one, y'all. So, y'all can tell, honey, this thing is old. Y'all can see where the lining was, like on the, the one with the thighs in. I took it out, but honey, guess what? We're still wearing these. And y'all, when I bought these, I think they may have had a sale, but these are like $50 or $60 a piece or something like that. And I think they had a really good sale at the time, which is why I got the one with the thighs and then the two like this, because I knew if I left them that, it, you know, I probably won't find them again or they wouldn't have a good sale like they did at the time whenever I bought these. But, y'all, this is what I wear under my dresses and some of my skirts. It really just depends. Um, y'all know I like high-waisted because of my body shape. But this is the shapewear. Really, really good. It uh, covers your butt. It doesn't go in your butt. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not a thong girly. I do not um, wear thongs, honey, if I do. That's for baby. And we're talking about 10 minutes and the thing is off. I'm not a thong individual, so I would never wear like a thong shake wear or nothing like that. But to each his own. Do you? If you like thongs, that's you, baby. So we're going to show y'all this. Y'all can see the wear on it. Like I said, it does have that rubber grip. I absolutely love that because it really uh, does stop it from rolling up and rolling down. So that is golden. Um, But yeah, I have on one of these and then this is that. So, that's my shapewear. I only have the three pieces. Oh, no, I have another one, but it's a cheaper one. And that one does, like, roll up on the thighs. So, it ain't even no point in showing y'all that. I got that in somewhere like City Trends um, or something like that before I actually got these. So, that's that. Um, But, as y'all can tell in this dress, you still, of course, can tell I'm plus size, but I look smooth. I don't look, you know, whatever. And then when I wear... The shapewear, I wear like these really thin underwear. Excuse me, the underwear are see-through and like brief style. And I think I got those on a random little trip. I don't know where I was at, but they had them. And I said, I'm going to try them. But I love those under my dresses because they are really, really thin. And you can't see like the panty line or nothing like that. But y'all, that's how I like for the shapewear to look. Um, And y'all have seen me in my shapewear before. But, y'all, that is it. I wanted to make sure that I bring y'all a video because I know several of you have asked over the course of time. But that is it, y'all, and that is my shapewear. Um, those are the bras that I'm into right now. And, again, y'all, that bra is the Comfort Bliss Lane Bryant. I am really giving y'all some uh, customers, so y'all need to go ahead and invite your girl to be an influencer or something. But anyway, y'all, that is it. Make sure that you do like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, never forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. 
about Queen and Chef because y'all know how we do on the channel. And y'all, we are out. <music>